Welcome back to my channel, Sam Joaquin Jr. On this channel, we discuss your constitutional rights and also go over videos of cop watches and First Amendment audits. Today, I'll be going over a video from the channel, Brett Keeney. This video was an exclusive feature on Acura Amanda's channel. Be sure to head on over to both their channels and give them the credit that they deserve. Today's video takes place in Lincoln, North Dakota, and it involves two officers from the Lincoln Police Department. So to give you a bit of backstory, Brett was driving in his Corvette when he made a turn. That's when Officer Stone pulled up behind him and decided to conduct a traffic stop. Brett pulls over and waits for his expected citation. Well, that's when things take an unexpected turn, and this is what happened next. Been here for 15 minutes now. Mm -hmm. It's something fucked up. And thanks for your patience. Her computer is just the reason up and we're getting this done as fast as possible. Thanks for your patience. Hey, y'all on now, dude. Come on. You got 20, your 20 minutes is over. What's up? Ah! Your 20 minutes for probable cause is over. Come on, what's up? Our, our computer's freezing up. We can't control the technology. Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you doing this so you can search the car? You want to search a car that you know fucking bad? Huh? I'm just letting you know what's going on, sir. Okay? Sorry about the wait there. My computer is being all crazy. But as of right now, so I'm gonna kind of just explain everything to you, and then you won't be free to go at the moment because we got we're working on other stuff. I don't know if he's how much he's told you about what's going on or anything. He like told that. me nothing. Okay, cool. So I'll give you these two. Things. No, it's not cool. What's up? Oh, well, here you go. Take that back for you. Okay. So I'll explain this, and then I'll explain the rest that's going on. Okay. So first thing here <laughs> is neglected turn signal, right? So it's just a written warning, no, no, uh, no point, uh, it's not like a citation, okay? So then the next one is failure to display your temp registration like we, are, we talked about as well. Um, that one's just a written warning as well. I did have to give you the citation for the um, of course insurance you did. right away. Of course you did. But just listen to me. I don't care. So, I don't care. Well, no, just let me explain this because you, don't, you won't have to pay this because he said, he, well, after it was already in the process of getting it done, I can't take it back once I already start it. So if you just print out those copies and bring them to the office, they'll void the whole citation out for you. But you got to do that within ten days, okay? So you won't be, you, you won't have to pay this at all. Right. So that, what's right? up? All right. So based on everything that, like, I'm detecting and stuff, and your your history and everything else, I that's do not have, probable cause or, or well, reasonable suspicion. So I have, I have a canine coming out. You can you, buy, you can search the car. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna go through all that. You can search the car. Okay. Search the fucking car. Hey, you fucking bunch of tyrants. So if you were listening, Officer Stone pulled over Brett for failure to use a turn signal. A very petty reason to pull someone over and cite them for. Now this next part I'm speculating, but she also said Brett refused to provide his temp registration, which means that this car is probably new or recently bought. Regardless, I'm assuming Brett was annoyed for being pulled over for a simple turn signal and refused to provide his temp registration. Not saying he's right in this situation, but his frustration is relatable. If cops are going to stop cars for failure to use a turn signal, then they are really grasping at straws here. Lastly, the only thing that she actually cited him for was failure to produce insurance. And according to her words, if he takes copies of them to the station, then the citation will be voided. So in totality, it sounds a lot like this traffic stop was pointless. But because of Brett's behavior and his supposed past, these officers are going to retaliate. Officer Stone says she has called a canine unit to do a sniff check of his car. But not wanting to get his car possibly damaged, Brett consents to a search. So let's get back to the video and see how this plays out.
by history is not probable cause or reasonable suspicion. Do you want to sell 40, 40, uh, 40, 40, 40, you can disregard, we got consent search. Yeah, I did already. Oh, okay. So, Brett at this point is absolutely livid and has every right to be. Now, in the past, I have gone over how a Terry stop has been extended to vehicle searches, but now I'm going to read what the law states. A Terry search need not be limited to a stop and frisk of the person, but may extend as well to a protective search of the passenger compartment of a car if an officer possesses a reasonable belief based on specific and articulable facts that the suspect is dangerous and may gain immediate control of weapons. How lengthy a Terry detention may be varies with circumstances, and approving a 20-minute detention of a driver made necessary by the driver's own evasion of drug agents and a state police decision
to hold the driver until the agents could arrive on the scene. The court indicated that it is appropriate to examine whether the police diligently pursued a means of investigation that was likely to confirm or dispel their suspicions quickly during which time it is necessary to detain the defendant. With all that being said, Brett stated that it had been longer than 20 minutes and he had not presented any danger to make the officers assume he had any reason to pose a threat. Therefore, the officers in this video were completely wrong. I'm not sure I agree with the reasoning to consent to search, but I do understand Brett's position and ultimately, he probably would have been arrested had he refused. I want to give a huge shout out to Brett Keeney for this awesome video, as well as Acura Amanda for helping them get this video out. Make sure you all head on over to both their channels, subscribe, and let them know Sam Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next video. First Amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind. I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine. Pay them tax dollars, I put in some overtime. I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime. We caught watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing. Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running. And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it. God watch. God watch, God watch, God watch, God watch.